okay then we will move on to planning session so what is sprint planning sprint planning is a meeting that happens on the first day of the sprint first thing in the morning as i told earlier so this it would be scheduled by scrum master and driven by scrum master you will be there to help the team to understand things the stakeholders required for this meeting is scrum master product owner and the development team nobody else outside of that okay, okay. okay. so you have the product backlog so what are the inputs for this sprint planning meeting you as a product owner you get the product backlog okay and then the scrum master figures out the capacity and velocity of the team now what is this capacity or velocity let's try to understand okay thank you okay assume your team sizes you have eight developers there are eight developers okay and if it's a two week sprint how many day working days you will have in working days right yeah and uh, uh 10 working days which means you know one one working day equal to one story point as you which means that with eight developers we can commit onto until 80 story points approximation right so 80 story points each developer can take 10 story points because there are 10 working days correct yeah yeah so now keeping this in mind and of course all this you know vacations holidays comes into picture scrum master will take all the details you know, scrum master will check if there is any vacations you know public holidays that is coming scrum master will check with each developer you know or what are their vacation plans do they have any leave plans in the sprint yeah. and so on. right that would be discussed based on that this number will come down okay now the point is let's try to understand what is capacity and velocity Zoom now uh, sprint and sprint and two sprint three sprint four sprint five so take it take it there okay one two three four five okay now Assume now you are in sprint five. Sprint five. You are trying to determine the capacity. What is capacity? Capacity means the number of story points that the team can commit to do in a particular sprint. Number of story points that the team can commit to do to in a sprint is nothing but capacity. How do you determine that? You determine that based on the team team availability, public holidays, and all those things, and also based on velocity. Now let's try to understand what is velocity. Assume, assume in sprint one, your team was able to take work worth 65 story points. In sprint two, maybe there's a public or couple of public holidays. It reduced, maybe the team was able to take only 61. In sprint 3, maybe the team was able to take 67. In sprint 4, maybe the team was able to take 68. Assume these are the capacities of previous four sprints. These are the capacities of previous four sprints. Now, what is velocity? Velocity is the thing, but the average of these four sprints okay the average of these four sprints that is nothing but 64 no oh, four sprints right here nothing but 65 65 is the velocity what that means no on average the team is able to take up 65 story points worth of work every sprint 
then the, the, the plus or minus will be there. But on average, the team is able to take 65 story points. Right? Okay. So in sprint five, if you are determining your capacity, then you will take, uh, then you will refer to this velocity. Say that our velocity is around 65. Keeping this in mind, let's see what are the holidays, etc., and then see how much we can pick up for this particular sprint. That okay. individual sprint level story points is called as capacity. Okay. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So we determine the capacity and velocity. This, all this will be done by the Scrum Master. You need not worry about it. Okay. And then we will take the current product status, currently where we are. Okay, you give a high level update saying that hey, we have completed registration module, we have complete login module. Uh, then at this print, maybe we'll, we will have to focus on payment. Payment mode. Like that you give a high level product status. And then constraints. Uh, any kind of constraints that there should be, uh, should be checked and uh, tracked here. Constraints can be like, uh, what can be a constraint? A constraint can be like, okay, as you, there are a uh, you know, couple of team, a uh, couple of developers in the team in the coming sprint will have to, will, will be in a classroom training for two to three days. So their availability will be less. That's a constraint, right? Yeah. Or you know, there is a server down, a server downtime that is planned for uh, one so-and-so date for so-and-so hours. That's a constraint, right? So any such constraints would be highlighted here. So these are all the inputs for sprint planning. Any questions so far? Aditi, Aditi, any questions? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no questions. OK. So once we have all these inputs, then we start the sprint planning. OK. You as a product owner, you explain the team what has to be done. You pick up stories from the top of the product backlog. The same thing, you 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 know, uh, these ones. See, you have already groomed it. Now I come to planning. Right? So you take this partially groomed matured backlog items from the top, you, you pick up one, and uh, you know, at a high level explain, because in detail you have already explained. Okay. In detail you already explained. At a high level you say, this is the thing that has to be done for the story. And then you will check with the team. Do you know how to do it? You know, you'll, you know the, the Scrum Master will give time for the team to discuss on how to do it. Let okay. them discuss and OK? OK. Once the team also decides how knows how to do it, then the Scrum Master will ask for, you know, ask the team members who wants to take this up for development. One of the developer will pick it. OK. OK. And this process continues. This process continues until we reach this number, whatever is committed, like 65. Assume until this 65. Until we reach 65, this process will continue. Once we reach 65, then the Scrum Master will take a pause and see if there is still bandwidth left out. Like, even after taking 65 square bands, you see one or two developers still have bandwidth of around three to four story points. If that's the case, then you'll take two to three more stories. Otherwise, you will stop there. OK? So this continues. This will go on for until the 65 story points are met. Now, what is the outputs of this sprint planning meeting? The output of sprint planning meeting is sprint goal. You have sprint goal that is defined, saying that, OK, first of all, you have sprint backlog, by the way. Meaning, what is sprint backlog? Sprint backlog is nothing but all the user stories or items that you have decided to take up in this sprint. Okay. All the list of user stories or requirements that you have decided to take up in the sprint is sprint backlog. And what is sprint goal? Sprint goal is the summary of your sprint backlog. Meaning, for the management, you have to put it in a way like you cannot. If the management asks, "What are what is the team doing in the sprint?" You cannot go through each and every user story, right? 
that looks bad. So you have to summarize in one or two sentences. Okay, the goal of this print is to complete registration and start working on login. Something like that. At a high level, one or two sentences should be there. That's your sprint code. Okay. Okay. So the output of the sprint planning will 